Hi guys, how are you? This is a small guide if you want to start in film photography, taking in consideration starting from the 35mm photography, which is the easiest. 35mm cameras are divided in two, let's say. There are the manual one and the automatic one. The manual one, uh, like this Zenith, you know, these are the, the iris on the lenses and uh, over here you have to choose uh, the shutter speed also on this side you have to set up which one uh, which ISO or HASA for the films uh, you want you want to shoot with you know more or less in this way everything rely on you on on your setup and uh, the way you choose to uh, shoot that kind of photos of course then you watch through the viewfinder and then you take that kind of photo that is up on you of course and this like the the technical one could be difficult if it's the first time that you shoot with a camera you know so i will recommend you to go to the other side which is the automatic you can find automatic 35 millimeter camera almost everywhere everyone has one uh, your father your uncle your, someone in your neighbor they look like this as a normal camera you can find almost uh, as well like uh, this so reflex that's the best starting point for you you know so in this way you can just go uh, buy a couple of rolls and uh, load them up inside the camera and start shooting what film photography can give you of course can improve your photography skill because if you use a digital camera you can just go almost everywhere and shoot the amount of photo that you want because you just click, 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 and then that's it. You come home and then you see all the photos that you've done, probably 300, and then you have to choose which is the right one. Probably some of them are the same. You just have, you know, take a different kind of angle and things like that. So shooting film is gonna make you improve your skill because you just have 24 or 35 poses inside the roll. And that, that is gonna bring you to the point that you have to really choose when to shoot and when to don't shoot, you know? Don't shooting is like already choosing which is the best photo, not coming back with 300 photos and then there you have to choose and then this, I like it this, I don't like this, I uh, probably have to take the other one and things like that. In this way, you have 36 photos or 24, depends on the road. And almost you're gonna be focused on that. Probably sometimes you're coming back and you have still some of the photos to, to shoot because you haven't found something to shoot. That is good. That is good because you recognize that you shoot when it was really the right moment to shoot a photo, you know? That said, you can start from these, which are like the most common camera that you just have to load them up and and start and of course these have uh, the zoom so more or less it's easier for you. you you can just crop and decide which one is the the photo you want to take and uh, the point of view you know then you can uh, go ahead and start with these these are point and shoot they have inside one lens like a prime lens and then uh, you can to zoom of course then you're gonna move around and more than this way in which you are gonna shoot and choose what put inside the picture in this way you are moving and you are also changing your point of view and this is another big improvement in photography so you're starting with consciously taking photos just when you decide that they are the good one and then that said next point is to try out also uh, this kind of reflex because these kind of reflex are also automatic so you decide the iris or the shutter speed so you know that you are shooting a good photo in terms of light but then you have decide what to put inside the picture you have decide which is the best point of view so next point is to change the kind of lens that you want to put on top of it why because every lens has a different deep depth of field, every lens creates a different bokeh. Let's say you are interested in a portrait, so you probably want to go to a 50mm to a 85mm, then you are focused on landscape, so you're going to go on the other side, so 40mm, 16mm and things like that. This is going to bring you, you know, step by step by step as well in this three point. When you started, you make the first step and then you reach this level you're gonna 
recognize by yourself that you have improved a lot your skills in photography. So strictly to the core, which is the best? The best is the one that you already have and you don't have to buy. But of course, if you can, start from one of these two types. So the normal and easy point and shoot that you just have to load up and go out and take some photos. If you like this video, put a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're gonna be notified when I'm gonna make another video. See you soon.